Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and it's time for another super cool Cards the Universe and Everything Deck Review. What a day it's been, nerfs, buffs, crazy events, new league and one of the cards that has been buffed is Leif Erikson and we have built an amazing uh, riding the waves explorers league deck with this super cool well, he's not a new card, he's a buffed card. But anyhow, we'll have a look at him in a minute. Let's go and have a look at the deck. It is a 9 and 9 deck, and I've been playing it in this week's league, and I'm loving it. It's a really cool deck. So the first card up is Tidal Wave, 7 for 50. It is survival this week, so there's plenty of energy. 250 energy at the start, and you have to survive till the end of the game with only 250 energy. So... Let's carry on. 7 for 50, Tidal Wave. On the return, your Oceans to Sea cards, wherever they are, gain plus 25 power and cost plus 1 energy until play. That will buff up all of our 9 Oceans and Sea cards. Here he is, the guy that's been buffed. A nice buff as well. 3 for 28. He's a limited legendary, and if you haven't got him, try and get him. He is going to be very versatile now. On the draw, if you're losing the round, gain plus four energy, which is pretty nice. And on the play, for every exciting exploration, riding the waves, plundering pirates, and vicious Vikings card in your deck, those collections, wherever they are, gain plus one until play. There is so many different things you can do with this card. Like I said, we've gone with exciting exploration and riding the waves today, and nine and nine, and it is super duper strong. So that's Leif Erikson. Congratulations, sir, on your buff. Karl Mar Nickel or Nickel. 7 for 65. Just an epic card, this one. But nice synergy on the play. Your exciting exploration cards, wherever they are, gain plus 18 power this round. That's a nice buff, actually. Works really well, that card. Next one up is Titanic. Unsinkable? Well, we know it didn't. Well, we know it did, actually. Four for six is legendary. So not even a limited card, this one. On the play, you're riding the wave cards wherever they are. Gain 18 until play. That is super. I do like the look of that. Junk. Quite like this one as well. Uh, Epic Fusion. So far, this deck is super easy to build. Seven for 58. On the play for every history card played this game by either player. And that's really cool. Up to a maximum of eight. You're riding the wave cards in hand, gain plus four until played. A really cool, useful card. Bedden. I knew he said Biden. Bedden. Five for 47. On the draw, you're riding the wave cards in hand, gain plus 25 at this round. Pretty useful. And on that single ball with Sam, he should have gone on the Titanic, really, shouldn't he? Four for 37. On the play, if you've lost at least one round this game, you're riding the wave cards wherever they are. Gain plus 25 power this round. Cool little card. And this one, again, another new card. This one is a brilliant card, actually. 9 for 70. Uh, limited legendary. On the play, your opponent's cards in hand is minus 7 permanently. And this card gains plus 35 power permanently. And if it matches the arena, repeat. So if we can play that in the oceans and sea, that is amazing. And the last blue card, Press Canoe. Oh, not press canoe, pessy canoe, or pest canoe. Looks like a bit of wood. Let's call it the bit of wood canoe. 755 on the draw. You're riding the wave cards wherever they are. Gain 15 until played. So that's all the blues. Let's have a look at the yellows. Nice surprise because it is a 9 and 9. We've gone with Goatman, one of my all time favorite cards. On the play of your deck, exactly 9 cards from any album. Those cards wherever they are, gain 14 until played. So our oceans and seas. And our history cards will all get that 14 buff. Really cool. Ida Pfeiffer. 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 7 for 68. Just a normal common card. On the play, if your deck has six or more exciting exploration cards, which it does, this card gains plus 40 this turn. So pretty useful card. 7 for 108, basically. Really good card. And it will get all those cool buffs. So, Walter Raleigh, 7 for 64, uh, limited, legendary. He's quite high rated, actually. I didn't know. On the play, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 5 power until played. And on the return, your Earth and exciting exploration cards, wherever they are, cost minus 2 until played. Quite useful. I thought I'd put him in, and he works really well. Francisco da Orleana. 
Uh, cool looking guy there. Four for 37. Just the legendary as well. On the play, I've played next to Amazon River. Well, we haven't got Amazon River. This card gains plus 14 till played, but the return bit is really good. On the return, if you want the turn, your exciting exploration and riding the wave cars wherever they are gain plus 13 until played. I think that is a pretty good synergy there as well. Looking good this deck so far, and it does play really well as well. Uh, Candido Rondon. Hmm, 7 for 40. Again, just a legendary card. No limiteds inside. On the draw for every exciting exploration card in your deck up to a maximum of 8. This card gains plus 8 power until played. He will get super strong. And on the return, your exciting exploration cards, wherever they are, cost minus 1 energy until played. The Donna Party. Uh, just a rare common card. Wow. 5 for 48. On the play, if played in the left slot, your exciting exploration cards in hand gain 18 this turn and next. Remember to play it on the left. Zheng He. Zheng He. 7 for 60. A limited epic. So we're back to a couple of limiteds now. On the play, if your deck has four or more riding the wave cards, which it does. Plundering pirates or exciting exploration cards, which it does. Uh, wherever they are, gain 16 until played. Interesting. Good card. Colin McGregor. No, Gregor McGregor. Not Colin McGregor. <laughs> it doesn't look like Colin McGregor either, does he? Six for 50 on <laughs> return if your deck contains six or more, which it does. Exciting exploration cards. This card gains 80 power permanently. Get him round a couple of times. He will be super duper strong. And no surprise, you've got to put this one in really if you're doing a 9 on 9 Ocean Seas and History. Christ of the Abyss. Brilliant card. On the play, if your deck contains nine or more Oceans and Sea cards, your history cards, wherever they are, gain 18 power until played and vice versa. So Christ and Goatman really giving us some cool buffs there. Okay, let's go and check out this deck and play in the league. It does work really well in this week's league. Like I said, it is survival 250. I've played it a few times. I'm still learning this deck. I think we can get much more out of it than I've managed so far. Uh, the rotation isn't tricky. It's just about learning what to play, when to play, where to play, and how to play. And then you should have a good play. Okay, we are Dragon Rank 1, 1 Shield. Let's see if we can get that up to 2. No, 3, sorry. It's 2 for a win, isn't it? Let's see if we can get that up to 2 Shields. We are searching for an opponent. Aha, here we go. Moon Shadow 44. Hello, Moon Shadow 44. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Like I said, I'm still learning this deck. It's not totally fluent for me yet. So I do need to spend a bit of time at checking out some of these cards. Uh, that would be quite a good one. Uh, if you won, run in the waves cards wherever they are, 13 until played. Should we do that one? That's cool. No, we should do Leaf, shouldn't we? Nearly missed him there. 3 1 1, the start of our deck. You want to get him round as quickly and as often as possible. Good old Leaf Erickson. What a cool card he is now. You can have some fun with him. Building some different oceans and seas and history decks. Uh, even with Plundering Pirates would be a good way to go as well with him. Um, but exciting explorers. Or exciting exploration I should say. Is really, really strong. Uh, that canoe, bedden or junk. Maybe junk. I'm not sure. 277. There's that. Astronaut deck. That's a good deck. I didn't even notice what we were playing. I was just too busy reading our cards. All female spacewalk combo. Very nice. Moon Shadow. Okay, we have still got a little bit of a lead. And this deck does get stronger and stronger. Uh, by the end of round 3, 4 and 5, you'll be knocking out some massive scores. But we are 120 in front. What can Colin McGregor do? Let's try him. Oh, he's not much, is he? Until he comes back round again, I guess. Uh, this is this round, this round. Oh, I've got to go with the old canoe. The wooden canoe. Oh, that is nice. Even when we're luckier. Oh, that was close. Okay, 1-0. Looking good so far. So we've got, let's just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Riding the waves. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and seven exciting exploration cards. Good mix, actually. And then the other cards are obviously those buffing cards. Quite an easy deck to build, almost. 
Nothing in here too overly expensive. Leaf could be now. He is a good card. So if you've got him, you are in the jackpot zone. Three, two, seven. Tidal wave is going to be useful. Oh, look at this. Only 92 for the all moon. Moon people. The astronauts. Moon people. <laughs> the moon people. <laughs> people from the moon. <laughs> the moon shadows. Astronauts. The moon shadow. Oh, what's that arts and culture card? Anyhow, don't worry about them. Two at three, five in front. We can get Goatman round. And that Kaluchi card. What a cool card it is. So we've got 124 energy looking good at the moment you can get to round five and you will just about be able to squeeze through with enough energy there are a few energy saving cars in here and if you've lost one now we haven't lost a round yet have we uh, let's go with that one so this one saves you a bit of energy minus two energy played in the left slot well that needs to go in the left doesn't it uh, your exciting exploration cards. Yeah, let's move them over one. There we go. That's better. Five, six, eight. So that is why I'm reading the cards. And where are we? Ida is a good card, actually. She's building up nicely. Really nicely. 2-0. 640 points we won that by. Do I like this deck. Do let me know in the comments below if there's any way we can make it better. The deck code... If you're after it, is V2RKK5. I'm going to play another game after this because I've run into a few, in fact, a lot of auto tunes, and it actually done really well against them. Can't believe people are still playing auto tune and people are still playing Tiao Piao Piao Piao, or whatever he is. The <laughs> three unruly rulers. I don't think they've seen the nerf on him. And if you don't know what I'm talking about and you've got him in your deck, do check it out. Okay, look at this. 490 we are doing well moon shadow come on could be a three nil win here we haven't even played unsinkable sam yet he is building up nicely eight for one eight one see what i mean by round three look at these cards now really good and another 32 on unsinkable sam six four one six seven on colin mcgregor and he will get himself a little a few more points as well that's good. Five, three, five. This is really good. It's getting, I'm getting better at playing this deck, definitely. I wasn't this good on the first few games. But I'm slowly learning the deck. Do like it. Look at Colin McGregor now. He is super strong. I think we're going to win this 3-0. We're definitely going to play another game. Ooh, bit of a dilemma here. Do we play Tidal Wave? Do we go for the kill? Unsinkable Sam still in our hand. And um, what should we do? Just in case. Let's just be a little bit cautious here. Four, four, six. I was going to play Tidal Wave, but just in case we lose. Ooh, good score there, Moon Shadow. 44. Not quite enough. Three nil. Okay, let's go and play one more game in this week's league. Uh on our Leaf Ericsson Explorers or Exciting Exploration. That should be three shields, is it? Let's have a quick look. Let's go straight into a game. Yep, three shields. There we go. Cool. Okay, this is for five shields. That would be good on a Monday. Schmack you too. <laughs> nice name. Mm, very friendly. Smack you too. <coughs> Quite like your avatar though. <laughs> okay, here we go. What is Schmack you too playing? Oh, it could be an auto tune. Oh, Schmacky U2. <laughs> let's see what we can do. Okay, let's concentrate. And so let's get this one round. Um, Senki He probably. And Candido Rondon, I'm reckoning. 301. Oh, oh, is it an auto tune? Oh, it's a golden, golden legend. Oh, okay, nice deck. I think this could be a unlimited, unlimited legendary, unlimited legendary, a non-limited legendary deck, which would be pretty good. But mind you, it's a bit of a rainbow deck. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. There is Leaf. Remember to get him round. So Walter Raleigh and Titanic 233 and the 98. Oh, I'm not liking these big space cards. What's he got? Probably Funeral Bell as well, maybe. 
Oh, golden leaf. Oh, okay. I'll give you a bit more credit. Smack you too. Okay, nice deck. Nice deck. Didn't say hello, did I? I got to talk to people. Okay, wait. Two in front. This is close. This is going to be a good game. This could go all the way to the end, actually. This could go to five rounds. So, good opportunity to see how strong Leif Eriksson and the Explorers get. Uh, let's make sure we put him in the left. And two, seven, eight. No, let's do Goatman. Two, eight, nine. We'll get the goat buff from Goatman. It's definitely the way to go. I'm quite interested in Smack U2's deck here. It's quite interesting. Ooh. Conebula. Uh, unlimited legendary. Gavel Go is a limited legendary. But Dragon King is a normal deck. Yeah, nice deck. He's gone with a legendary unlimited. Nice. A mon limited. Nice deck. Not sure how strong it is, though. Okay, here we go. So now we can probably play it Tidal Wave. Uh, you're excited? Well, we're not, maybe. I'm a little bit worried about his deck. There we go, 381. Colin McGregor. Oh, maybe we should get him around. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, so indecisive. 311. I wasn't sure whether that's the good move. I wanted to get the buff on. Uh, Joe Bidden from <laughs> Tidal Wave and the buff on Conor McGregor <laughs> and Francisco okay we're 92 behind here I'm not sure I think I might have mucked up this game not looking good is it at least we won the first round uh, Ida Pfeiffer little canoe 8 for 1 6 2 it's a good deck it really is a good deck already we're on round two, and these cards are starting to get super good. 184, 4, 4. Oh, that puts us back in the game. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> nice play to smack you too. Oh, just have a quick look at these cards. If you want the turn, I don't know. I really don't know what to do at the moment with this deck. It's not comfortable for me, but it is a great deck. We haven't lost, but I'm going to play it unsinkable, Sam. Or not. Probably not. <laughs> See what I mean? 549. That's still good. I'm going to get 549. Oh, 619 by doing it that way. By not really knowing what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, I do know most of these cars. There's a couple I have to keep checking. Like uh, Francisco, like Sir Walter Raleigh, and Candido Rondon. The rest of them I think I know now, actually. So 2 0. Looking at good. Come on, Leaf. Uh, and there he is, Speak of the Devil. We probably want to get Leaf straight back out again. Four for one one six. And the four for one seven nine. That looks good. And we still haven't used Unsinkable Sam. I'm still going to hold it. I mean, I don't mind holding it, even though it's burning. It only starts on four for thirty seven, so not much to burn away really. Four five three. Oh, Golden Legend and Golden Leaf. That Godzilla card's working nicely in that deck. It is super good. Really nice deck, Smack you 2 Very close. 14 behind. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. So, we've got a bit of junk. The Titanic. Uh, and Donna Party in the left. So, let's put that one in the left. And... Titanic or junk, which is the best? Four, five, one. It's not too bad. Oh, and Dracula Parrot is great in that one. Volcanic Eruption is what's making me burn all the time. That's quite a cool card. Not a bad deck at all, Smack You Two. Not bad at all. Oh, 21 behind. Oh, I've got to play Goat Man. Probably going to have to play Titanic and. Let's see wherever they are here. Yeah. And Colin McGregor. And I don't want to play that, do I? Go, man. Four, five, five. Come on, we might win this. Oh, what a hit. Well played, Smack you too. That was nicely done. Oh, I thought we were going to win that 3 0 again. Okay, game on. Now we can play Unsinkable Sam. He has stopped burning away, but look how powerful he is now. 
we are definitely going to use him. I can't remember what he does, actually. But if you lost one turn... Oh, and now we can play tied away. If you've lost one turn, you're riding away with cards wherever they got 25 until this round. Sorry, not until played. He's great. 274. Well done. 8 for 240. Let's get tidal wave. And no, let's get Joe Biden. Oh, this is where I get confused whether to play tidal wave. Let's do it. 550. Because it doesn't hit until. The return. Oh, he's, I didn't realise he was playing an auto-tune golden leaf deck. Interesting. Okay, 129. Has he played auto-tune before? I must have missed it. So now we have got that super buff. Look at that. 10. Oh, see, the trouble with Kalucci is he's got the arena boost next round. But I think we can get far ahead of enough ahead here. 7, 5, 8. That is a great score. That is a great score. We could have buffed it up a little bit more with Christ of the Abyss, but I think trying to get a far enough ahead at the moment is the way to go. That is a massive lead, 5-3-3. Three, three. And there is Leaf. He is looking good. No sign of Conor McGregor. That would have been nice. 4-4-1-1-1. <laughs> four, four, one, one, one. Zengi, 4-4-1-3-5. Four, four, and leaf in the middle. No, leaf on the left. That would do. 490. Oh. Okay, don't know. Done. 4 for 1 for 5. Plus minus 1 until played. I'm not sure. I think 490 is the best move there. Ooh, smack you too. Oh, he nearly shook us up there. He nearly smacked us. Well played. Good game. Well, there we go. V2RKK5. If you do want to give this deck a bash not too difficult not too expensive to build there's probably only one expensive card in there now which is leaf erickson so do try and get him because he is going to be a great card anyhow thanks for watching guys have fun with all the crazy stuff that's going on in queue and we'll be back very soon take care